Welcome to the Clinical Data Science GmbH. Christian Rome, CCRN Data, Switzerland, Friday, October 9th. Christian Rome, thank you so much for joining me this morning, all the way from Switzerland. Um, so what, you know, maybe introduce yourself and let everyone know what you do in the realm of research. Hey, hey, Kaya. Thanks for having me. Really great. Really great to be with you this morning. So yeah, I live in Switzerland. I live in Basel, actually. I'm, um, I'm a data scientist and statistician, and I work with the natural history data in FA. So what does that mean? What like what do you actually do when when you say work? What that with means, data? yeah. So as you know, an important step when you trying to create a treatment for a condition is to first understand the disease very well. Only if you understand the disease, you will be able to help these patients. And um, we are actually very lucky in FA that we have a very much natural history data available where patients are monitored on a yearly basis and we can learn from that data and I'm the person who actually tries to help people understand this data and use this data in order to educate their programs and that can both be companies who have a drug that they want to develop or it can mm -hmm. also be the regulators like the FDA who want to understand the disease and understand the potential treatments for it. So me as a patient, I go to Dr. Lynch, for example, and I do my my annual exam and he and his people enter all that data into a database yeah. and it's de-identified, first of all. Um, yeah. But then, you know, researchers and clinicians from all over the world are doing that with other patients right and so that all goes into a database and that's kind of the data that you're talking about yes that's yeah. exactly what it is we really have an incredible amount of this data by now as you know the the fa com study is is looking at patients for almost 20 years and um and um, this is it's an incredible amount of knowledge that's in there and just people need to be able to understand it yeah, and that's, my, that's my job. What are you personally doing for the Global Challenge? I've seen a few of your Shava posts and stuff, so definitely contributing to the goal. What What have you been up to in that? Yeah. So I'm actually I'm usually I'm, I'm from tradition I would say I'm a runner. So I used to run a lot, but like a couple of years ago I got into cycling. And then, then I think just everyone ends up on Strava because that's the app everyone uses. And I remember connecting to you a couple of years ago and it's, it's really amazing now how you just make one more connection, you meet another person and another person. And now I, I know a couple of people engaged in FA uh, support groups by now. And of course, what I do, I, uh, I, uh, run and cycle as much as I can. Although given the current conditions here in Switzerland, it's getting really cold here. We can feel the fall coming in. So currently yeah. I'm running a little bit more. All right, good. I have actually been thinking if I should get my friends here to join that community, but I'm not sure my local community is big enough. <laughs> oh. Maybe we should have a Basel team. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> We'd love to see that for sure. <laughs> so, Christian, I know that you love what you do, and um, there are probably a lot of different reasons, but maybe you can just touch on a few of those. Yeah, I wonder how much time I have to, to talk about that. So <laughs> when, I, when I got into clinical research, into clinical trials, I was working for a company that that uh, did a clinical study in FA, actually two big studies. And um, I remember when we started looking at that data, we had no clue. Well, we had some clue, but we had no clue about many things. And I remember banging my head against the wall for literally years around these things. And I, I think that just never left me alone. 
then over the years when uh, well, there was a big break in between when I worked on other things, but I would say like about five, four, five years ago, I came back on FA and um, I realized how much data there is out there now and that has been collected ever since. And starting to work with this data and being able to finally answer the questions that have been, um, have been striking us for a long, long, long time. That's really what, what makes me go back to that data every day. So why FA and not, you know, one of the other 7,000 rare diseases or, you know, or something more common or anything else really in life? Why, why FA? Well, well, it's, I mean, the reason why I ended up in is probably just by chance. The question is, why did I stick to it? Yeah. And, um, and uh, there, no one should underestimate the influence that this community has on us. And of course, you know, you know better than we all. Um, once you're in it for a while, you realize how people help each other and how the community supports each other and how it facilitates many things. When you talk to all these people, get, collect all the knowledge and gather the individual expertise is all in, in one spot. It's like when I have a question, due to the community that exists and the people I got to know on, on the meetings, um, I know whom to call, right? Yeah. I don't need to do an, an internet search. I just know, I just write some an email and then we don't and that's it and these connections are are priceless you can't replace them with anything else yeah it, awesome. it changed it gave me i'm not gonna i'm not gonna say it gave me a calling or something but being part of that community is 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 something has been something very important and very motivating definitely that's wonderful. Well, I hope we get to ride together someday. I don't think we've ever made that happen before. So, <laughs> no, we should. But you know what? I found out that you have been actually here in France a couple of years ago. Yeah, yeah. I, I wrote, I read that somewhere, and I thought well, that was just around my corner. But I we know. hadn't well, met by then. <laughs> next time, next definitely. Time. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, Christian, thanks so much for joining me. It was wonderful to talk to you and uh, keep up the great work. It was a pleasure. You're a really great host. Thank you. <laughs>